okay so today we'll solve get 2023 question this is a question from real analysis this is question number 13 so given that let px this is a trigonometric polynomial given 1 plus e to the power 2 pi x plus 2 into e to the power 3 pi x pi i x for x belongs to real number and i is the square root of minus 1 then we have to find the limit of this quantity this limit n tends to infinity 1 by n summation k equals to 0 to n minus 1 p of k root then four options are given you have to find which one is correct okay so in order to solve this this is the nptl reference this you can check okay so let's try to solve this one so this question is related to the equidistribution of a num um, of sequence in certain intervals so let me re first recall the definitions. So a sequence an of real numbers is said to be equidistributed on an interval So non degenerate AB if for a brief interval C comma D of A B we have so limit n tends to infinity take the first n numbers from the sequence a1 dot 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 a n intersect with that sub interval C D and so this is meaning the numbers of the how many numbers from the sequence first n numbers from the sequence lies inside this sub intervals means intersection with this sub interval so this count the number of the points divided by n so this should give us d minus c by b minus a right so this means that the if this happens then we say that the, this sequence is equidistributed on the interval a b so for that we have to count the take the first n numbers from the sequence intersect with the sub interval and for every sub interval c d find the number of points and then divide it by n and find the limit and test infinity if this is d minus c by b minus a then we will say that some sequence is equidistributed on an interval a b now we need equidistribution modulo 1 so when we say so this is again a definition so this is equidistributed on an interval and a sequence of real number, a sequence of real number an is said to be 
इक्व डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड मॉड्यूल ऑफ वन इफ द सीक्वेंस ऑफ द फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट इफ द सीक्वेंस ऑफ द फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट of n so this is n minus the integer part of n is equally distributed in the interval 0 1 You say that a sequence of real number is equally distributed modulo one. If the corresponding fractional part sequence means a n minus the integer part of n is equally distributed in the interval zero one, because the fractional part always lies in zero comma one. Right. Now we need two theorem. <coughs> so this is equally distribution theorem. Equally distribution theorem. so this gives necessary sufficient condition of certain sequence when this will be equally distributed so the sequence of multiple so the sequence of multiples 0 alpha 2 alpha dot 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 of some real number alpha is equally distributed modulo 1 if and only if alpha is irrational So what it is saying that a sequence zero alpha two alpha this sequence is equally distributed modulo one if and only if alpha is irrational number, right? So this is the equal distribution theorem. So like for example, this k root two if you take k belongs to natural number. is equally distributed modulo 1 right equally distributed modulo 1 now uh, we need one more theorem this is oil criteria oil criteria So what it is saying that a sequence a n is equally distributed modulo one if and only if. For all non-zero integer l, limit n tends to infinity, one by n summation 
j equals to 0 to n minus 1 e to the power 2 pi i l a j is 0. So this is well criterion. So it is saying that a sequence a n is equidistributed modulo 1 if and only if limit of this 1 by n summation j equals to 0 to n minus 1 e to the power 2 pi i l a j is 0. So we will use this one to prove our problem. So we will solve use the, our problem using this one. So here what we have in the problem, so what is the problem? Here we have Px is given by 1 plus e to the power 2 pi i what x plus 2 into e to the power 3 pi i x and what we have to find to find summation n k equals to 0 to n minus 1 1 by n limit n tends to infinity p k root 2 so means limit n tends to infinity so this we have to find right so p if you put p k root 2 it is the power will be so so let me write so what will be this 1 by n summation k equals to 0 to in n minus 1 p k root 2 so 1 by n summation k equals to 0 to n minus 1 so it is 1 plus e to the power 2 pi i k root 2 plus 2 to the power 2 pi i and 3 pi i k root 2 So for the 1 if you sum it there are n number terms so this is 1 divided by n so it is 1 plus summation 1 by n k equals to 0 to n minus 1 e to the power 2 pi i k root 2 plus 1 by n so this is 2 by n summation k equals to 0 to n minus 1 e to the power 3 pi i K root 2. So this I am writing it in different way 2 pi i k 3 by 2 root 2. So now note that what is this limit and test fit what will be this we know what we know from oil criteria that if sequ certain sequence is equidistributed modulo 1 then this kind of limit will be 0. So what is this here? So here we can take L to be 1 and this sequence k root 2. So if k root 2 is equidistributed module 1 then this limit will be 0. Right? And we have proved earlier by the equidistribution theorem shown that if k root 2 this type of sequence are equidistributed module 1 because it is multiple of root 2 because this is given by the equidistribution theorem. So k root 2 is equidistributed module 1. So therefore as k root 2 is equidistributed modulo 1 so by Wells criteria one by n limit n tends to infinity summation k equals to zero to n minus one e to the power two pi i k root two is zero. Similarly, you can show that next term because 3 by 2 root 2 is again equally distributed modulo 1. So by all criteria, you will get this. Similarly, 
we have limit n n tends to infinity 1 by n sum s n k equals to 0 to n minus 1 e to the power 3 pi i k root 2 is 0 so what we have got so both the term we have then become this I means this and this goes to 0 so only remain one term so therefore therefore limit n tends to infinity 1 by n summation k equals to 0 to n minus 1 p k root 2 is 1 because only 1 is remaining other two term goes to 0 so this will get 1 therefore which option is correct option number b is the correct one okay